The beautiful and historic city of Heidelberg in the region of Rhein-Neckar hosted a series of events to mark the one year to go countdown to the 2015 Solheim Cup that will be held at the stunning San Leon Rock Golf Club from September the 18th next year. The club began the celebrations with a pro-am starring celebrities and VIPs including club president and CEO of SAP Dietmar Hopp and footballing legend Franz Beckenbauer. We're always looking for outstanding sports events that help raise the profile of the region and the Solheim Cup is definitely one of those events. It's the biggest women's golf event of 2015 and it's fantastic we're able to bring this event to our region. On Monday, Heidelberg and its old bridge became the centre of attention when sports stars and VIPs that included Beckenbauer and former tennis star Steffi Graf who tried their hand at the Golden Charity Shot, a challenge to hit a floating target on the River Necker that runs through the picturesque town. Each shot they hit the targets raised 1,000 euros for different causes, including the Franz Beckenbauer Foundation and German School Sports Foundation. This event on the bridge is unbelievable and demonstrates the great ideas St. Leon Rock Golf Club has. I'm very happy the people are interested and there are so many people here and I hope the charity will be successful as well. That evening, over 300 guests gathered at the stunning Heidelberg Castle for a charity gala dinner where host Dietmar Hopp welcomed guests, sports professionals and more VIPs. Guests took part in a silent auction for all sorts of unique sporting memorabilia as the anticipation for the Solheim Cup that will kick off in September 2015 builds. The evening also included a spectacular stage show including well-known German dance act The Flying Steps before Ray Garvey entertained those gathered. It's really wonderful what has been arranged tonight and this week in general. I'm a big fan because Dietmar Hopp does so much for sports in general and for the youngsters too. He offers support for around 3,000 youngsters across all sorts of sports. Can you believe that? And it's all down to him, Dietmar Hopp. What he's done for the Solheim Cup is something very, very special. The Americans versus Europe is always something special and a big event. I know who I'll be supporting. The day and the events in general have been so impressive. Tuesday's extravaganza began with an entertaining set of challenges on the San Leon Rock driving range for the eight stars involved. Maurice Lampert, Caroline Masson, Caroline Hedwall, Karen Koch, Sandra Gall, Julie Inkster, Paula Creamer and Martin Keimer. To bring an event like the Solheim Cup, the biggest event in ladies golf, to Germany is great. We can be very, very proud. I'm very happy to be here and next year if I have some time, I'd love to come back to support the event and enjoy the atmosphere when it begins in September 2015. The stars first tackled the beach challenge, chipping towards a man-made target to raise more money. And next they took on the gong challenge. And after that, it was the ring challenge. And soon there were on-course fireworks to enjoy when one of Maurice Lampert's efforts blew up the giant balloon hanging over the range, a single shot that contributed 25,000 euros. After an entertaining morning on the driving range, the eight stars then got to grips with the San Leon Rock golf course that will stage next year's USA vs Europe team event. Over 2,000 fans came through the gates to watch as each player tried to raise funds for nominated charities with the opportunity to add 250 euros for a par, 1,000 euros for a birdie and 2,000 euros for every eagle. We enjoyed the day very much. It's a nice opportunity to play around with Moritz and Martin and I know them well. It was a lot of fun. We all enjoyed playing together and I particularly enjoyed the different formats that we used. By the end of the day, the week's activities had raised an incredible €450,000 for the nominated charities and the stars had whetted the appetite of local fans for more world-class golf at St. Leon Rot.
It exceeded my expectations. To be honest, I was surprised how many fans the week's activities attracted. The event at the Old Bridge in Heidelberg, the gala dinner at the castle were a little overwhelming for me. And today was a huge success too. So many people came and the professionals gave everything they had for the event, the charities and the youngsters here today. And as the dust settles on St. Leon Rocks, the scene is well and truly set for a hugely successful staging of the 2015 Solheim Cup.